Hello everyone, this is Elizabeth and my Tumblr is TGW is ever since Georgetown. Um, I would just like to thank all the people that remain following me during the hiatus. You guys rock. Um, those that did unfollow me, you're lost. And like, couldn't you give me a break? Gosh, I'm like moving into school and getting ready and more. What was I was off for like a week. Anyway. Whatever their loss, but thank you for those that remained on um, that remain a follower of mine. So you guys are amazing. Thank you. Now, um, because I have been a horrible Tumblr blogger and I haven't been reblogging or setting up a queue, I don't even have a yeah I don't have a queue set up. I do apologize for that, and I don't post anything. Um, I wanted to sort of make it up to you guys by doing a I may wrap up video. It's not that exciting, but <laughs> why not do it? Because I actually am about to uh, leave in a couple, uh, in half an hour. So this will be done in fast instead of like going through my Tumblr dashboard. Because once I'm on Tumblr, I'm just like on Tumblr. I'm dedicated, but I can't. I can't get dedicated because I need to um, get some textbooks and I have to. I'm in debt, so I have to go to the financial aid office because my life sucks. Anyway, so the Emmys were on Sundays. I had, uh, I saw the first, or I saw the last half of it, not the first half because I had to do something for school. And the second half is all I needed to see because I saw Juliana Margulies. She looked great. Ish. I'll talk about her fashion later. And I saw Archie and Christine. Thing. But I do want to catch up with the first part of the Emmys. I just, I just have to watch it later or something. Anyway, so let's talk about Emmys and fashion. Now, Christine Baranski. I don't even know what to say about her. She looked flawless. Fantastic, fierce, and I think she's over 50. She looked great. The legs on that woman. She, her hair was great. It was very Diane. Her dress was, you know, it was fun and flirty, and she just looked like she was having a fun time at the Emmys. You know, she wasn't taking it seriously. And her smile is just so fantastic. I honestly, her look was probably one of my favorite looks throughout the Emmys. But that's because I really just focus on the good wife ladies rather than everyone else. I did like Michelle Dockery, though, because Michelle Dockery is Michelle Dockery. But, yes, Christine Baranski, fantastic. Archie Punjabi. Archie or Miss Punjabi. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to say informal, formal, whatever. They're my babies, so I'm just going to say Archie. She wore a, um, what is that? Like a blue, like a turquoise? She wore a great dress. Um, it kind of reminded me of prom, though, so I'm not a fan of that. Like, it's like, oh, head into prom. No, you're going to the Emmy. But her hair was down, the earrings were great, her makeup was great, her face, obviously great. So um, I did see her at Live with Regis and Kelly. See, her, No, I didn't see her on Live with Regis and Kelly, but I did watch the program. And... The difference between Kalinda and Archie is just so amazing because Kalinda is serious and mischievous and I just intense. Archie is fun and bubbly and she smiles and her hair is down. She's just having a ball. Not having a ball. I don't think I used that correctly. Anywho. Or anyway. Um, I did like Archie's look overall. She looked great. Um... Archie and Christine did lose the Emmys to da -da -da -da, Maggie Smith from Downton Abbey, who wasn't even there. For. And Maggie Smith is amazing, so I can't speak badly about Downton Abbey because I like Downton Abbey too. But I love The Good Wife more. So, of course, I was rooting on Archie and Christine, specifically Christine, because Archie did win her first season, the for the first season. And um, I just want Christine, I just want to hear Christine's speech. I want to hear her voice, and she'll be just like, 
thank you to the end. I can't sound like Christine, so I'm not going to try. But it was, I was a bit sad because I did want to see a speech from Christine or from Archie and her British accent. But, um, yeah. Now, to Juliana Margley. I adore Juliana Margley. I love her. She's my life ruiner. She's my, like, number one. It's Juliana Margulies and then Hillary Clinton. And people know how much I love Hillary Clinton. I have two books. Actually, it's on my desk right now. Sorry. This is part. I love Hillary Clinton. I read these twice. Well, no, I read this one twice, not this one, because this wasn't as good. But I adore Hillary, and I love Juliana. What is, I was confused about her dress. Um, I, I did enjoy, I like her hair. Um, she does have it up a lot in interviews, recently actually in interviews and in the red carpet events. She, it's always up. Which is fine because her bone structure is amazing. And if you don't have that great of bone structure, rock, rock the up hair anyway. The updo. Um, her jewelry was great as well. The dress. Now, I, I don't hate the dress, but I don't love the dress. I am confused by the dress. There's just a lot of pattern going on. And that, um, it's a bit overpowering. That's what I would say. Uh, it is a risk for Juliana because she does like to wear black when she's on the red carpet. So I'm really happy for my girl. She didn't wear black, which black is fine anyway, but um, a pop of color is always nice. And she, I really have no idea what to say about her dress because I don't hate it, but I don't love it. And it's because it was really overpowering. The patterns were just everywhere. And ooh, Keith Lieber falls right next to her. Keith Lieberthal, handsome husband, so that's a great accessory. Anyway, that is my take. Oh, she lost to Claire Danes, which I don't watch Homeland, so I don't really have an opinion on, you know, I can't say I really wanted Juliana Winston. I didn't want Claire Danes to look like win because I haven't seen Homeland, so I can't say if Claire Danes was bad or not. But I would like to say that if Juliana Margulies was to lose, which I wouldn't want her to, it would be to Michelle Dockery. But that didn't happen. So yeah, Claire Danes won. I don't hate Claire Danes. I just prefer Juliana to win. Anyway, that is my Emmy opinion, fashion, wrap up, commentary thing. Uh, thank you for watching. Our ladies were great. They looked fantastic. And I can't wait because <gasps> this Sunday season four premiere and I can't wait like I'm so excited I was actually in my room the other day or I was in the lounge watching a rerun of The Good Wife and it sucks because the lounge is where just everyone on the floor can just go and you know microwave their food or watch TV and Sundays are my TV day I don't have a like I don't have a TV in my room so I have to watch it in the study lounge and if anyone interrupts my good wife watching time, I really don't know what to do. Should I just close the door and lock it? I don't think I'm allowed to do that. Anyway, I'm making new friends, and they're seeing my good wife's, like, emotions. So far, they're not scared. They really don't know what they're getting into, though. So, um, see you guys next um, Monday, actually, because we'll watch on Sunday, and then I'll do a video on Monday. Hopefully, my classes are not... My classes aren't jam-packed on Monday, but I do have to um, go out with a friend on Monday. Um, so thank you for watching. Thank you for continuing to follow. And you didn't unfollow me. Um, yes. Enjoy.